Yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, hello, everyone. That's Rumble. Uh, my name is Jimmy Boy. I uh, play a lot of scary games and also weird and wacky games like Harry Potter and stuff. Uh, I've just been Quidditch. chosen Quidditch World Cup. I'm I'm working on it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I've cho I've been chosen to do Outlast as a backup run. And uh, this game this this run is famous for how short it is and how dumb it is. So I'll get it on the road. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump out of bounds to skip to the end of the level so we load up into the game and this just skips the full the first full cut scene of us arriving at the asylum the asylum the, the big building that everyone knows so now we're now in game here so now we do we need to start the timer oh uh, yes sorry Alrighty, there we go <laughs> so uh we now run over to here and there's a small uh little skip here where if i just Jump up here a couple of times. I will land on top of the bush. It, it isn't as consistent as the other strat, but it's the only strat I really know. So I'm just going to go for it. Trust me. There we go. So now I look over here. I just jump out of bounds. And now we're in the last level. Um, there's a lot of unskippable cutscenes here. But... Uh, yeah, that's basically the main tech of the speed run. Um, so yeah, no, no real jump scares, no real, um, no real chase scenes. It's just all about our routing from here. Now I'm just going to run into the dark here, set off an alarm and then immediately turn back. Oh, I mean, there's more tech. Sorry, Kuja. There's more tech, but there's like... The main caveat of the run is the skip to the end of the game. So now we uh, we meet up with Chris here. And unfortunately, we get to see him perish. It's been great knowing you, Chris. But uh, unfortunately, it is the end of your life. Dang, F's in chat. Yeah, I'm F's in chat for my boy, Chris. So again, this is uh, unskippable. Um, very brutal way to go. Very brutal way to go. But uh, as you can see, jumping out of bounds actually uh, made us lose our left ring finger. I don't know how that works, but uh, it just works. So here again is another unskippable cutscene. So um, this game is a lot of like quick run cutscene. But... Um, this is a huge uh, piece of plot. <laughs> Wernicke skip. Yeah, there is a skip for this, but uh, I'm quite new to this game, I guess. Uh, if anyone could tell me in chat what this symbol represents, please. Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess Kujo is probably better at this game than me because he's telling me a lot about this game that I didn't know. So that's what a Venn diagram of McDonald's, 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 and we've got food at home? Yep. Okay, we're about to get out. And we're out, okay. Uh, that, that's really the longest part of the, the run without any gameplay. So uh, now it's just running. So we run around this corner here and there will be... The guy come out there, but he won't get us. Trust, trust me, trust me. I know what I'm talking about most of the time. Are we gonna jump through here? But yeah, um, I highly recommend anyone learning this, like to learn this, because it's just a fun, like, you're in Discord and you've got nothing else to do. 
just boot up Outlast and just keep doing Outlast runs because they're like 10, 10 minutes long. They're, they're just a bit of bit of time to time to waste. A fun party trick in the spooky season. Yes. Break October. Put it in your Tinder bio. I can finish uh, Outlast in under 20 minutes. I really wish this guy would get some wipes for all this jam on his hands or something, though. Yeah, yeah, it's um, definitely jam. We've definitely, we accidentally dropped our lunch on ourselves. So we're just running up here to hit the valve. And, uh... You're gonna hear this guy, um, complain a lot. Just, just, he's so, he's so unfit. He just can't run for long periods of time. So now I'm going to do a minor skip here where I jump down here onto these. So it skips the animation of falling. Means I can get back on my feet quicker. And you get to see the uh, the jammy footprints disappear right before your very eyes. How magic. So we're just going quickly here trying to get to the other side. Sorry, chat. I'm not very familiar with Outlast. It appears to be tomato relish. Oh, right. Got to keep that in mind in future. Love me some tomato relish. Okay, we're about to scale this giant piece of scaffolding. Scaffolding? I mean, it's not really scaffolding. It's just stairs. But once we hit uh, the point in which there is no light, we know that we're about to do our big jump. I do not know the the swag strat here, so I'm just gonna go for it. Just a regular jump. <laughs> so now we use the camera because we've got to jump over some of these boxes. And then that's the last time we use the camera. So is that just to see the box in a dark area or is that actually part of the movement? Ah, uh, no, it's just to see the box. Oh, I didn't do the, the extra jump there. That's my bad. I keep forgetting to do that little jump. A little bit of time saved. But now it's time for the Superman jump. Where you uh, hedge all your bets on jumping into a trigger and not dying. I didn't get it. Of course I didn't get it in the marathon. That's a real F moment. Uh, jump earlier, yeah. It is okay. I'm just going to do the uh, the longest try there. That's unfortunate. That's probably like the first time I've actually missed that. The classic marathon. Uh, this has never happened before. But yeah, if you jump up there into the trigger, this happens quite early. Uh, the old marathon luck really bodes well for my next two runs in this marathon. Yeah, we're gonna jump off here, face the wall so we don't die. And now we hit the trigger. <laughs> so now another unskippable cutscene where we get to see... But we get interrupted. We get thrown around a bit. We become the host. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for in a, for approximately two minutes. Yeah, long fall here. And now we... Big limp. <laughs> we become the host, Dot and him. So yeah, if you like if you like horror games but you don't like getting scared, learn the speed run. It's what I did with Amnesia: The Dark Descent. It's 
So now our main objective is to get out. But our time is actually coming up very soon. Uh, we've just got to limp all the way into the, the cutscene trigger. But, um... Yeah, our guy's missing fingers. We, we, um... We jumped into... We jumped out of bounds and lost two of our fingers. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'm loving all of these comments about this game in chat. Thank you guys so much. But, um... Yeah, we're coming up on the end here. There is a long cutscene, but the, uh, the time is in... Three, two, one, go. 9.46. Nice. That was, a, that was an alright run. I mean, I missed the Superman jump, but... Uh, this is probably the bleakest ending to a horror game I've ever seen. I mean, you get to update your Tinder bio, Tinder bio now. Done yeah. in 10 minutes. We get lit up. There we go. They become the host. Got in him. But yeah, so that's Outlast. Um, unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not a huge part of the community. But like, shout out to the community. Like, I've watched a lot of videos on like the, the strats and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm Jimmy Boyer. I uh, do a lot of dumb, stupid speedrun games with a lot of cool tech but uh thank you to pitchy for the, the co-commentating and hosting no worries guess i should do some read out some more donations while we're here yeah absolutely so we have 50 dollars from zoomy saying let's go nice 50 mountain climbers on the way <laughs> we have two dollars I'm assuming that's a Tony Hawk one. Yeah, oh, that have... was for nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have $2 from Caleb saying, Give Pink Spyro some love. And we have $4 from Aaron with no comment. Thank you very much, Aaron. Every little bit helps. This is, of course, a Australian speedrun marathon. We are here playing games quickly to raise money for Beyond Blue, a charity that does work in awareness and support for people with mental health problems. Fantastic. <laughs> Run it back. We're starting it again, guys. No. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. So coming up next, we have Spyro Year of the Dragon. I'm, I'm very excited for that run. Yes, we still have, and until it starts, we still have a bidding war. You can do, you can donate to determine what color Spyro will be throughout the run. Currently, this is a race, by the way, so this is determining the colors for both players as well. Currently in the lead for Board Banana, we have $54 for default, and for... The Sir Boris, we have a green in the lead at $110. In second place for Boris is pink at 55 and green at 25 for Board Banana. So get those donations in if you want to get, say, the green mirror match. Um, as Softman just mentioned, we are almost at 2k, which is absolutely nice. insane. Of course, later on tonight, we have The Simpsons Hit and Run by Liquid Wi-Fi, then Middle Earth Shadow of War by Rikon Gaming. So, plenty of fun things coming up. And stick around, coming up next again is Spyro Year of the Dragon. <laughs> 